Hello everyone, welcome to another thrilling instalment of CGCM Practical Skills. Um, what we're going to talk about in this video is venous blood gases. Um, venous blood gases are a convenient, quick test that you can do that will look at some of the electrolytes, um, maybe look at your HB, glucose, your lactate levels, they'll obviously tell you pH, they'll tell you some things about um, oxygen levels and carbon oxygen levels of venous blood and they'll tell you some of the um, metabolic aspects of the venous blood as well. You can do them as, like Tina said as, um, in her blood culture video, you can do them as part of an order set. So you might um, use one needle and then do some blood cultures followed by your normal standard blood tests and, and then followed by a VBG or we might do it as a standalone test. Um, so you use different people for each thing. So if we're going to do it as a standalone test, we would need to collect a normal standard arterial blood gas um, syringe. And um, we would, and with this syringe, what they are is a syringe that is um, a auto-filling syringe. So it has a hollow um, plunger in it, which allows air to escape out the back, but it doesn't allow liquid to escape out the back. So if that's the case, we need to pull the plunger back until we've got a sufficient gap inside the syringe um, for the blood that we want to have in it. It's also got lithium and heparin inside it, so to keep the blood nice and thin, and it's got a little brass ball inside it to keep the blood mixed. So we want to be able to collect one of those. Um, we also want to get some gauze to cover up the hole we've made. We want a wipe to be able to clean the skin with. We want a tourniquet to paint to come up, gloves, and um, a bit of tape. We're going to do all the things that we've done in all our previous videos and clean our hands, collect our equipment, clean the tray, put all our equipment out and then go and see our patient, identify them using a um, using e-care as you would do normally um, and um, put a tourniquet on and find the vein that you want. It's important to bear in mind though that there are blood gas machines on various wards around the trust. So if you are on a ward that has a blood gas machine, for instance, uh, the respiratory ward F8, um, you won't have to order a blood gas on eCare. You can just take a blood gas and collect the patient's sticky label, stick to the blood gas region, take it to the machine and run the test yourself. If you are going to do that, you have to um, you have to make sure that you still identify the patient in the same way using the patient's sticky label. Okay, so if I'm going to do this blood gas, I'll find my vein, I'll give it a um, good clean like I would do normally and really importantly allow it to fully dry before I um, take the test. Then put your gloves on. And then take your um, blood gas syringe and you're going to want to make sure that your bevel is up and then you can do your skin traction and hold it like you held your um, needle and holder blood test, so with your finger underneath and your thumb on top, and then just very carefully insert it into the vein. And what you should find is that the blood will automatically fill into the um, syringe, slightly a slow rate, um, but it will automatically fill up and it will keep filling, providing that vein is under pressure. If you stuck the needle in and nothing came out, you can aspirate the blood out. So you can release the skin traction and aspirate the blood out. But that can make the test a little bit more difficult for you to do. So it is good to allow it to auto-fill by itself. And just wait for it to fill up very carefully. And then um, once it's done that, release the tourniquet, use your gauze, cover the um, wound and take it out. You obviously want to, you can get the patient to push down on that, and that's really handy. If they can't push down, you need to make the sharp safe, um, one-handed. And that is just by pushing the cover up, I don't know if you can see that, until it clicks. And then you can take the um, syringe out of its um, cover, dropping the cover into the sharp thing, and um, then you can attach the cap onto this. And the cap itself is, um, we'll just go onto the top, it's a little bit awkward to put on, um, but then you can very carefully just push some of the blood into the cap to form a seal, and then you've got your venous blood gas. Okay, so that's taking it as a standalone test. If you're going to take it as a um, as part of an order set, 
Um, we would have obviously done all the stuff that we learned in, um, in phlebotomy, so we would have connected all our needle, our, cer our blood bottle to our needle, and then we would have um, got our gauze and our chlorhexidine wipe, um, found the right place. But as part of your preparation, it's important to collect one of these blood gas syringes, which isn't one that has a needle attached to it, it's a needleless blood gas syringe, it's called an aspirator. With this, you also then need to collect an adapter, and these are very small adapters that will turn this syringe into the same connector as the blood bottles that you normally have. So what you would do with this is you would um, obviously collect your blood as you would do normally. So needle into the vein, aspirate your blood. And then when you'd finished aspirating your blood, you would then connect your blood gas um, bottle onto the needle as you would do normally and then you can aspirate your blood gas with your blood gas syringe just like you would do a normal blood gas or blood test and take that off and then you've got your blood in your blood in your BBG bottle. Take the torn hair off, put the gauze on and then you're your sharp and sharp too. And then you're all back to your normal things. Just remember that last step of taking the adapter off putting the cap on and then pushing the blood into the cap so you can then go and run the test on the blood gas machine. Thank you very much.